the frothing waters subside. The advantage is ours. Take a look. Kate exits the brothel with a skip in their step. Six speed. Really? I didn't know you could do that. That's good. Good job, Kate. Sands on 100 stress reduction from flagellation. Odin, 86 stress reduction. No negatives. And Solar Steve, 86 stress reduction. Not bad. Okay. Take a look where we're going. Fortunately, no damage buff there. Or there. So probably would like to go to the rune. Oh man, there's no medium runes. Early morning brothel, that's right. Uh, don't want these items. One more level cove, we'll level this up. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't mean medium runes. I meant there's no there's no damage buff option on any of these, and I would like to, if possible, run damage buffs before running the boss. We should do then is level the runes once more, which means this 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 spot is where we're gonna go next. Okay. So we know where we're going. Do we know who we're bringing? It's nice to be able to project damage here. I feel like Doctor's kind of ready to go. The station's still medium. Man, remember when position one was a great position and could hit all these fucking good targets for us? Eating Jester seems pretty terrible in there. Hmm. Let's look something up real quick. Alright. Interesting. See. So I'm looking at the Fnatic here, and the Fnatic sounds like a fucking nightmare. Sounds terrible. Sounds fucking terrible. Okay, so let's go to the runes. Because it kind of feels like the Fnatic is a boss, and it feels like completing all the bosses would com entail completing the Fnatic. He is a mini boss, a collector style boss, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> So 
I mean, I certainly didn't complete a level one and level three fanatic. Do I need to click? Do I need to complete a level five? I think I, think I said at the start of this that the fanatic might not be one of the ones we're going to require completed on this. But I don't remember the rationale for it at the moment. Uh, what do I want to do here? Stress healer? Stress healer's fine. Do we have anyone who can scout the runes for me? Let's ground your runes adventure, cove explorer. Okay. You one shot your best level 6 healer? Hmm. Yep. They're pretty ridiculous. All the level 1 bosses. And I'm maybe on the fanatic. can't guarantee he spawns, but I can really influence the percentage chance that he spawns. We have no runes explorers, it looks like a rune scrounger, something. New Lord Solar Steve. Alright. This comp looks fucking terrible right now. I guess we either run Abomination or, uh... Yeah. Abomination or a Bounty Hunter here. Not to give you awe-inspiring here. It's gone. Okay. Here's some people with some shit we don't want. Vertigo seems like a good thing to get rid of. Off guard needs to get rid of. And I'll probably get rid of Witness. Doesn't seem that important, but let's just double check. Really, it's not that important, but we'll take it. Lock in five natural accuracy, sure. Uh, do we have anything coming through there? No. Anything in here? No. Okay. Idle stress release. So low on resources. And I kind of want to get one of these going in. Sun resist is whatever. Maybe useful in the flagellant, I suppose. I'm trying to think where it would be useful, I guess. Sun resist is useful all the time. It's just the flagellant. I mean the Crusaders I don't I can't think of many positions of Crusaders gonna be using that. And plus fifteen percent blight skill is very good, but the rest of this is crap and it's very expensive. So I'd really need three hundred and ten deeds remaining right now and I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to afford that. I don't think we're gonna take additional idle stress resolve right now though in case I want one of those. I really don't like this comp. But that's what I got. So let's take our items back. Try to prevent craving on somebody. Good. But the vintage. And stack some stuff up. So it's very similar to the last round of itemization. In fact, I actually don't think I'm bringing a focus ring on the body hunter, though. I think he was a little bit slow last time, so I'm going to try to bring something speed related. So stun percentage and speed related. Send a box. Can bring ancestors cambo candle and a focus ring. Can bring healing items. Do I try a surgeon's charm? Sure. And we got a plague doctor, so we'll run the vial. Don't have to run stress here, I could run scouting. We'll run this plus the Aria box. Do I have another speed item for this guy? I don't think I do. Do I care about his damage? Not really. Okay. Excuse me. 
All right, some of these, some of those. I don't have any bleeding guys right now. It's good. Infestation. Oh, I didn't even look. What's infestation at right now? Infestation's still at medium. I'm a bit worried about my invites. What are we getting here? We got the undead who don't die. Or the undead who resurrect, rather. It's not a lot of point bringing too much stuff in here. So it's good. Okay. Let's go. Wonder where you can see how many invites you have. It's over the courtyard. The fiends must be driven on the uh, and what better place quest to map. Kiryu, Kiryu, nothing, so we won't even bother mind. that way. We got a scout ping, so I don't have to change over the skills here. What are we running here? Uh, this should be okay. I don't think I need Mark for this group. Uh, Demon's pull. Yeah, I mean, I guess. This would be such a shitty ability. Uh, this needs to be changed, though. So we want one of those, one of those, one of those, and one of those. Okay. Right into potentially getting cursed. It's too bad. That's super annoying. Oh, I have the wrong thing on anyway. So this isn't supposed to be zealous accusation, but it helps here. The enemy Value. The criticals. The valuable criticals. Decisive pummeling. The light, the promise of safety. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Try to kill it this round. I don't know that we're gonna have enough damage. I'm pretty sure we're not gonna have enough damage. Uh, especially with that dodge. Yeah, we're cursed. Sucks. Don't have any blood. Dodge. Okay. Strong in that one. That's okay. Give them no quarter. Slowly, gently. Need to turn on the stress heal after this fight. Taken. Their formation Good. is broken. Maintain the offensive. There's some blood too. That's helpful. All right. This was clearly set up for a boss. We can run protection so long as we have scouting. More torches is good. Final stages of Darkest Dungeon. Uh, I don't really want you doing anything. Dots there. Not quite enough, unfortunately. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. You know, he crits off asshole here. Stun this guy. Stun that guy. That. As the theme nice falls, there, actually. A faint hope blossoms. And let's stress you on the back. Ah. Or guess damage there is okay. Destroy them 
Oh. Maybe we'll get point blank here. Should be nice. He is also probably stunnable again. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Wait, dead yet. Getting yeah, pretty close though. Head of the Crusade. Oh, Arena Whips, man. Don't do that. Just point blank, what you're supposed to be. Oh, that's crap. A million bleeds. Don't want that at all. Should have uh, flashbang there. Okay, so he's now dead. Not dissuade the sharpened blade. Don't really want anything. Ah, I guess we'll get rid of this. Okay. Hundred percent of room battles. Well, are there any room battles to be had? This looks like no room battles. Glittering gold. Trinkets and baubles. Baubles and baubles. Got it. Paid for Excellent. In blood. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Sometimes low on supplies, Wayne. Sometimes. Uh. Oh, I had room anyways. Didn't need to throw that out. Okay. More scouting, please. Am I gonna try to make room for this crap? I mean, I guess. Don't have anything for that. Still light up for the fight. The match is struck. A blazing Ping. star is born. Mm, cool. All right. Thank you. Dots. We need dots. Would have been nice to dot. Oh, come on. Put a useless turn then. Do I just kill one of these? Kind of, kind of painful. I guess they do. Ghoul went last that round out of everybody. It's really unlikely. I was gonna say, here goes the ghoul going first. Seems much more likely. Stun my plague doctor is probably the best damage dealer versus the ghoul here. How quickly the tide turns. Yeah, it's gonna be a shitty fight. useful for the stress heal, I suppose, that's about it. Unnerved. And this little Unbalanced. shitter keeps critting on us as well. Don't like it at all. I'm trying to kill that guy before he acts, he's at one right now. A victory. Perhaps a turning point. Stress heal. Dodge the stun. I guess I'm potentially being crit on by rolling for that instead. Victory. Perhaps it's a little bit greedy. Resistor of light. Okay, that was a pretty bad round for us. Double resist like that. Uh, he's got to die at the end of next round, and he might go first. We do three damage to him. He go first. Do I care? Yeah, I do a little bit. I don't want him to die before I get a chance to do a couple, couple more actions here.
All right, he has a lethal dot on him. Can just take the time to stress heal now. So we won't get reinforcement stress. Okay. All right, came out okay. Move skill charm. Is that something we could actually take advantage of? Feels like probably not, but maybe. I don't need money. It's tempting to throw out the food for rubies, but it's actually wrong here when I have absolutely zero need of money. Damn, we didn't get our scout ping, so we need to turn this off. Another ghoul. Pleasant. Okay. Decimated. I dodge, but a great, great result versus the ghoul. I resisted the stun, though. Wish sure we could slow it down. Wow, man. 65. 165 is 185 versus 95. We have a really, really good chance to be fucking stunning that guy. I'm not quite sure why he's able to just ignore it every single round. It's kind of irritating. I'm quite dead. Crusader rolled first. Alright, dead before he axe. Look for critical stress healing. Look for a crit here for a stress heal too. The bigger the beast, okay. the greater the glory. I suppose we might one day have some utility out of more crests. I don't have a stack. Oh, I do have a stack gold, so I got rid of that. I already killed our level five shambler. I can just fucking ignore that. Great. All right, what do we got? Bring this guy closer. Maybe we can smack him in the face with the Crusader. Ah, left him at two. Sad days. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sun. Look, I'm Gelderlin. What's up, man? So, what do you guys think of the Yogscast uh, game? Did you guys watch that? The Yogscast Civ game? Uh, with yours truly? Now that that is fully released. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Welcome, Chaotic Void 2. Thanks for the sub. Was it enjoyable though? Was it fun? Was it good to watch? Resist to the stun's annoying. Fun but predictable. You have returned. Welcome back. Uh, JP Sartre. Thanks for the resub. Alright, what do we have here? We have some stunning that needs to happen. He's taking 12 rounds. If I stun him, he's dead. So let's stun him. The other guy's already dead. Oh, he's actually going to be at one. That's even better. Uh, we can dot again here. We could just stun. Eh, let's dot. Some stress healing in while we can. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Hopefully, he doesn't one shot the bounty hunter there. Not so talkative as I normally am. 
Yeah, it was very, very, very early in the morning for me, and 90 second turns while I'm warring five players is really impossible to do, in fact. So it's a bit of that. It's a bit of, there's some delay on the, there's a lot of contributing factors. Some delay on the voice comms, so it's tough to talk, talk without talking over people, or some stuff about not knowing the people. It's just, honestly, a large part of it was the, the timing of the day and trying to focus on the game. I mean, it's, it's a, I think I've said this before in stream, but it's worth reiterating. It's kind of a, I mean, it was a fun game, but at least the first one of those is a lose-lose for me, right? I can't go in and not win it, right? Like, we know the Augscast players are playing more for the the banter than they are for the, the quality of the gameplay. So, and I am not. So, I mean, it's not that I couldn't do the bantering stuff or couldn't focus on that. But there's no way that I can just give the first game up. And I'm likely to get teamed. And there's 90 second turn timers. So it requires some focus, at the very least. I don't want any of this stuff, do I care? I mean, I guess I could toss this with a better chance of heirlooms. Yeah, that's what I wanted. All right, camping time. Do I need a move skill chance in only 20%? I mean, the only reason we do this is for cheesing the, the final final boss. I can get rid of these puzzling uh, trapehedrons. Not the final boss, the uh, final uh, und undying boss. There we go. Looks good. Uh, anyways, so uh, the dilemma is go in and play like a tryhard or lose to the Augs cast of this filthy robot. But what math in there? Level 5 come hither is 140% base plus 70% from kill list and move charm you get to 220 move charm and level 5 is 140% resistance. Huh. It's interesting. I've never done it. Kind of be neat, but I don't know that I want to try the first time I attempt it is versus a level fucking five boss. I'll have to look up those numbers again as well and do some independent confirmation and remember which one is which. So what happens when it's like that? Is that not been fixed? He really just can't do anything when it's in that positioning. No, kill us is, I think, 50% move. Which one passes its turn, though? The big guy or the little guy? Remind and what happens if I move it while it's already pulling somebody? Killer. What happens then? the scouting not entirely taken care of but close to taken care of so I mean I can imagine a scenario where like the first time I do it he resists it and every other time I attempt to do it he already has the chain down and if he has the chain down I assume I can't do anything to it. I mean, I can imagine pushing him into a position where I can't attack him anymore because I pushed him in the back ranks and it, that's only position four. The chain is still active and it's still stress ticking every single fucking turn. I just make the whole scenario worse. I don't know, I've never tested it. It would be nice to see how that works though. We're talking about the undead crew. So one, of course. Precision and power. No, one of them is entirely immune to being moved. The anchor in position one are immobilized. Uh, I don't know if that's true, though. 
possible. Look it up in a minute, or look up uh, some of their resists, anyways. All right, got scouting information. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Should be able to run bulwark then if we want to for our final. But there's no point. We're not worried about the light. Yeah, well. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. So 95 percent and we just failed. It's annoying. Okay. Never understand this. Okay, there's only two of them. That's fine, I guess. Don't grip me. Nice. Why did I swing with a bounty hunter as opposed to uh stun? Don't know. Alright, I need to stress heal the bounty hunter if all possible. It's nice. Uh yeah, QED. I don't QED rather. I don't know if uh I mean this is I have no idea if we'll ever play again, quite honestly, because uh, these are, uh, it's not my channel, so I'm a guest in the channel, so I'm at the mercy of when I'm invited, in a sense. But yeah, I, I assume we wouldn't play a straight free-for-all like we did this time if we, if we played again. Foolish horror. All right. Camp and driven into the mud. Eat. Don't get nighttime ambushed. Encourage. Rest. You have returned. All right, let's go home. What's complete? Room by room. Welcome home back, Coronius. Thanks for the reset, man. Reclaim what is ours. Greetings from Germany. Ah, oh, nice. All right, picked up a disease on our oh, dude, Eldritch Slayer. Ooh, very, very nice. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. <laughs>